These niggas is at it again. This what I'm saying, squad. I be getting on here. I don't see it on my Instagram. When I get on YouTube, I just watch boxing videos, really, and forensic files and like shit like that when I want to go to sleep. I don't know uh, t real with no jumper was beefing again. We finna watch that shit. The fuck happened? Nah, increase the peace. All right, let us let let us, let be free. However, hell that shit go. Let's be cool. All right, dim niggas. You ain't finna do that. Mm -mm -mm. Back on thick. Where the video at? The homies talk about King versus Academic. King beef with who, who, who is King? And the Academic is beef. That shit ain't no. T real best no jumper 10k live screen competition. That can't be it. T real being no jumper killer. Is which one? Is this his squad? Hey, Scary Glow, good looking, bro. Appreciate it, nigga. The fuck? Come to the house. We just made nachos and shit. You know what I'm saying? That nigga donated hella bread. Hey, hey, JJ, J, what you mean? Hey, Scary, look, Scary Glow, send me some bread. Oh, that's what Wynn said, my bad. Hey, hey, stop trying to take my money, motherfucker. Shit, that nigga sent that shit to me. Stop playing, we don't play these games. I don't be up in your block, that nigga, bro. The fuck? How you gonna say send him some money when that nigga said, well, nigga, I got weed to buy. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. <laughs> this nigga sent me like $80. How much you see it, bro? Hold on. One, two, three. Like 80, right? So, anyway. No jumper killer, let's go. So my wife got me this weird new kitchen knife as a Christmas gift. God, I love it. T-Rail, we finna give you these 15 seconds, nigga, so you can get paid! Finna give you 15 seconds so this thing can get paid! I understand how it would change my cooking experience. But I figured of all- All that to that, yeah, the NJK- Oh, shit! Smack, why you got your legs crossed like that? I wanna, that's one nigga, I ain't never wanted to meet a nigga, I ain't finna say so, Smack is one nigga I wanna meet though, I fuck with that nigga, heavy, and I don't even know this ugly motherfucker, no, I just play, I don't even know, yeah, I don't even know that nigga, bro, it just the vibe that I get from him on camera, like, he seemed like a nigga I grew up with, and I never grew up with the nigga, Smack, <laughs> no, I'm just playing, let's go. Who decided to yeah. show up, what they say, what was that? <laughs> You. <laughs> Fair to say. He's talking yeah. about something. That's why I like Falling that, man. Falling off what, bitch? I just got here. Oh, that, oh, yeah, yeah. Get at that nigga. Tell Who's that nigga what falling you... off? Hey, they never put Who's with, falling off? They compete with niggas with a million subscribers. Who's falling off? The numbers yeah, ain't numbering. Yeah, niggas ain't in competition with niggas. But not at all. Ain't no competition with you, ho. Niggas out here, nigga acting like, oh, nigga acting like niggas in competition with niggas and all of that, man. Right around town, you ruined the nigga Disney trip. You bitch. <laughs> <laughs> the nigga you mad did at what? Disney. <laughs> Mickey Mouse over here. Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Mickey. That nigga oh, too real ugly as shit. <laughs> what they talking about Disney well, trip? Yes, <laughs> I gotta go to the side. Look, fuck this shit. I gotta shit. go to the side and get quiet because I'm in the closet. Oh my god, nigga. bro. That's fucking hilarious. Fuck a dick, bro. nigga. I don't know. How did, I, really, they really saying we falling off? Man. I didn't hear those whispers. I didn't hear that dick. whisper. I, I, I don't know whispers. how we falling off. I, 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 I don't understand. I walk out with 10 on me every day. I don't understand. I'm falling off, bitch. Like, yeah. where? Hello? Yeah, you call hey, me. Hey, y'all wanna know some crazy shit? We didn't even speak on the LA show yet. 
We didn't even get there yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We still, we, we still, still, we 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 still, this nigga said, "Why you say you fuck with T. Real, but not the Reds? I mean, smack, but not the Reds. T. Real ugly. He know he my nigga. Uh, oh boy, and if back, I fuck with. Him. I fuck with the whole set. What you talk, bro? I wish you niggas get. I need to chill on that shit. I need to chill on that shit." And goes just because you box. I be hating when y'all niggas say that shit too. But I, it ain't even just real boxing, bro. Just like niggas be up in the comments. And I swear to God, if it was real life, I'd pop the trunk on you niggas. And I ain't talking about no pistol. Just I always keep my gear. Like, come on, let's part real quick. The fuck you talking about? It's a lot of shit niggas say in the comments that they won't say in your face. And that shit is crazy to me, bro. I wouldn't say nothing on camera. I wouldn't say nothing in comments that I wouldn't say to a nigga face at all. I wish a nigga would come out. If I say I fuck with Smack and this nigga, if somebody came at me, how this nigga came at me, I was like, ooh, I fuck with Smack. This nigga ain't gonna say the fuck so what the fuck you don't fuck with the rest of the squad or what nigga come over here real quick the fuck what you mean do i mess with the rest of the squad or what nigga not if i didn't say i fuck with him then i don't fuck with him but i never said this shit all them niggas ugly bro all of them shit buster ass okay just making sure that was that yeah yeah that yeah, yeah. was beautiful yeah L.A. was beautiful, nigga, and I, really I see was. a basketball in the chat, bitch. We balling. Right, right, right. <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah, fair to say. Yeah. See, real old yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> fair to say. Bitch, we balling. No cap. Oh, I ain't getting no money, man. This <laughs> nigga, In no form or fashion are you niggas influential to me. Nah. No form or fashion am I looking to you for anything. <coughs> You know what I mean? I'm talking about no content. I'm not looking for no ideas. You niggas are not influencers to me. You niggas are not role models to me. You niggas are not nothing to me. That nigga T real on the breath already, I don't look at ready, nobody bro. for nothing. I need everybody, especially you, to get off my dick, G. Oh, I don't care know. about. And he talking about Adam right now, right? What made him go at Adam like this? I be missing a lot of shit, bro. Y'all tell me up in the comments, it's not like these niggas is my everyday homies to where they get into some shit like, hey, ghost, look what happened today. Or look, or, it ain't like that with them niggas. I don't be knowing. I be in my, when I'm on here, like now, I'm on YouTube now because I'm live. When I get on YouTube again, I'm uploading videos. I don't be on YouTube just bunker, 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 unless I get on here and I see a nigga video or a channel pop up that I fuck with, then I click that shit, you know what I'm saying? Is this some beef that happened before or is this some new shit? Let me know. Motherfucker shows, bro. We don't, don't care, we don't care, G, but we ain't finna be sitting here, you know what I'm saying, let a nigga just keep on talking. We try to go the cray cool route and all the shit. You know what what I mean? made you say fuck it, nigga? It's right, over right. with. We I trying to go the cool I've been route. Biting my tongue for the longest. I mean, we've been biting our tongue, but Mac Bob sitting over here, he didn't want to be quiet. Cause I'm trying to, <laughs> I want you to be this nigga. <laughs> <laughs> let it out, love one. Let it out, love one. I ain't like you all. Oh. You gotta treat these niggas with grace. Fair to say, nigga. Fuck grace. Nah. Me, nigga, this is the Terrell that people love. This is my nigga. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. The yeah. fuck? We not finna be sitting over here doing none of that. Yeah, all that stuff. All, all that shit, man. Oh, yeah, up. that shit is... Because these are my fans. The Z-Rail, the Zesty rail These are these are niggas I fuck with. We That's funny. You feel me? Like, you not funny. Niggas ain't funny to me, cuz. Like, y'all niggas, you not tight. You hear what I mean? Like, leave me alone. That's another thing right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Over here doing none of that. Yeah, all that stuff. All that, shit, oh, man, yeah, that shit is because these are my fans. The Z Rail, the Zesty Rail. These are these are things. What is that coming from? This nigga T Rail 
has a girl, obviously, bro, with kids. Where is that zesty real shit coming from? I didn't see that in comments, bro. I didn't heard AD mention it before. Like, where the fuck did that come from? Where did that shit come from? Niggas I fuck with. We that's funny. You feel me? Like you not funny. Niggas ain't funny to me, cuz. Like y'all niggas, you not tight. You hear what I mean? Like, leave me alone. Like, you feel me? Like we come in peace. We definitely but not no peace, more. No, fuck no, all listen, of that, listen, man. Listen, we don't Terrell, come in peace. Terrell, we come in peace, but our peace could be broken. Our peace could be broken, nigga. And you can suck a dick, you feel me? And like I said, oh, niggas talking man. about a number, nigga. Go get everybody you know right Round now. Round them all up, nigga. And Round go them up. Y ain't we just getting them. started for real, though. Round I ain't gonna need lie. Round them niggas up and let's do it. Oh, my mama. You feel me? Anybody like, smoke? Do, you talk niggas talking about million views in the mill. Nigga, I got a million views right now. Nigga, check me out. I got two videos, nigga, head for a million. Like, nigga, and I ain't even trying. You feel me? No bullshit, no gangbanging shit, no weirdo shit. Nigga, talk about who killed who, no Chicago niggas in my shit. No mm. corny niggas doing corny shit. Mm. You corny. Mm. We not doing no corny shit. And these niggas is niggas that haven't even been nowhere near the mother... Hey, this podcast beef is crazy, right? This podcast shit is crazy, bro. It's just that the thing with views, like I tell y'all, I tell y'all over and over, and I'm gonna tell y'all now. I don't clown niggas on views. Um, even though it's not a lot of niggas that get more views than me on my channels, bro. I don't clown niggas for the simple fact that it's, it, it's YouTube, you know what I'm saying? And <clears throat> we know kids run the internet, teenagers run the internet. If you see a, mil a video with a million views, I promise you, I promise you for a fact, most of them views didn't come from motherfuckers that's 30 years old. You know what I'm saying? You got 800,000 views from people that's in between the age of 17 and 24, the other 200,000 probably is people between 30 and 40. You know what I'm saying? The reason I don't boast over views is because, like I said, the logic that I gave y'all before. My nigga, you don't see every view on who watching you, so if you got a video that get 10,000 views and it's 10,000 seven-year-olds that watch your shit, you got 10,000 views in the first hour and then this nigga drop a video and it only get 10 views but it's the smartest people in the world, the top tier, the most respectable people in the world. People that make shit move, people that push buttons, people that can really soak up your game. They are more important. Cause you can sit right here, try to give game, tell motherfuckers what to do with their life, how to move with their girlfriend, what they expect next. And that shit going on deaf ears cause you talking to seven year olds, nigga. They all seven. That shit going on deaf ears, so clowning niggas over views, I don't really, I never been cool with that shit, bro. And to keep it real, for everybody that's doing this YouTube shit, all this shit can be taken away. All YouTube gotta say is, I wanna retire and I don't want the platform no more, like, you know what I'm saying? Shit, Fucking camera, nigga. You feel me doing this shit at a high level, you feel me? We just getting in this motherfucker doing it up, and you can round everybody up right now. Fair I want to say, say too. Yeah, fair to say, say it's, it's, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> including including Marshmallow Cuz. Who, the fat nigga that did the report card? Who's Marshmallow? The, the fat nigga. ass nigga talking about uh, back on figures. Oh, uh, 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 yeah. Our community is crib. Shut your yeah. fat, funky ass up, bitch. Who they you talking know about? Nigga to be speaking on us, you hoe ass nigga. And don't Flacco? nobody give a fuck about no report card, nigga. I don't care back on fig community. Fig community world's on that motherfucking nigga. Who is you? You ain't the nigga that, that stamp shit. Nigga, fuck you, you fat bitch. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what is nigga talking and, about? You know what I'm saying? 
This is this is something when you when you think of back off egg, when you think of Figueroa, you don't have to go down there. It's two sides. That's you, what I was saying. It's east and west. You could go down there, Staples Center, all crypto arena. Right, right. Better living. You could go all better living, business, you all, all, all those shit. Yeah, you, you could go. Take that to saying, uh, what's the Palisades? You, you can go here. Yeah, you, you can go here. Yeah, you can go back that way. It's the middle that's fucked up, <laughs> and it's just a little section that's fucked up too. But you can if you keep going. You feel me? It's beautiful. You yeah, feel me? Like, and that's what you're supposed to be representing. You feel me? The beauty out of the coming out of something that's the struggle. Right. Not not trying to glorify the whole shit, but we that's where we come from. Where we came from, where yeah. we grew up at, what made us was that figure Roar Street. Mm. We're not glorifying prostitutes the way he tried to paint mm. a narrative on us. We yeah, glorifying this for our address. Mm. This where we grew up at. This what made us to where we at today. Yeah, mm. bitch right ass nigga yeah, talking. Yeah. But round your whole ass up though. Yeah, that part. Who you wanna go with, oh, fat bitch? You wanna go who you wanna go against? Yeah. Round that nigga up one by one with all the homies real quick. I can we can do one on one face. Oh God. Fun fact. Young's Market A lot of niggas in LA Know where that's at The house right behind Young's Market When I came home From the ho from the hospital That was my home Right there Right there In between Hoover and Vermont Yeah go ahead I, ke I keep hearing you But I'm live Shit It's like these niggas Know like I ain't up in here Talking to myself Why you keep calling me And shit But yeah Right there I was born over there we can do one on one phase right now. Everybody at that motherfucker, right nigga. Everybody at that motherfucker. Nigga. I wish a motherfucker would too. Hold some money up to a bitch like this on me. <laughs> yeah, that's how. That's what I don't care about. Right. Hold the money up on me. I don't Fair give a fuck say. about that. Nigga, <laughs> nigga, I wish a motherfucker would put some jury up on me. Ooh. I just got one piece of jury. You don't even worry about it, bitch. Y'all master took off. I just got one piece of jewelry. That is an 18 karat gold, 44 millimeter, Oyster Perpetual, Yacht Master Rolex, white face with the blue bezel. I see you, T Rail. I see you, nigga. You don't even worry about it, bitch. Y'all master took off. Go look at it. I see you, nigga. Go figure it out. I'll Google it. Parasite. Fuck y'all niggas talking about whole ass nigga. I just yeah. wanna let the niggas know cause niggas be fucking with me too much. I be trying to calm it down and I didn't even do nothing. So do you think so since you haven't responded, <clears throat> that was egging that nigga on to go at you more? Yeah. 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 He like I got him on hush. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I don't right. want to say something, I just shut it up. Nigga talking like, about you know? nigga, we nigga you had somebody nigga fuck your wife, you talking about you got back. And then the motherfucker talking about we tried to end you, bitch. I didn't try to end you, group. We just left. Yeah. It was no, it was nothing. I was like, hey, don't go over there. I can't yeah, tell for me to go T over there. T real say group. It's no fucking way I could do that. But suck a dick, though. You that's hear what I mean? Yeah, you know what I mean? Nigga, all yeah, my niggas fucking with man. it, nigga. All my niggas right here, nigga. Every single one of us, we don't have a clue what we doing. And we don't have it. a motherfucking clue, but we know how to turn this motherfucker on right now. Overall, overall, the view, the overall view. Of course, niggas gonna beat us. You know what I mean? It's a platform, a foundation already there. You feel me on the overall view? But once we get it, once it start clicking, because we running this marathon. Believe that. Rest in peace, King Nick. Marathon, huh? Huh? Man. You know about that marathon? <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, come on, dog. Shout out to 6,000, almost 7,000 in the fucking building, nigga. Nigga, like the video, man. What we doing? I'm just saying round them up. And I'm in here with my homies. And you can't, and you can't teach this. Yeah. I could go, hey, this is Macwa. And then Macwa go do this and say, hey, this is such and such and such and such. And then y'all watch it. You just gotta have it. That's the fact. Yeah. You can't force nigga to you fuck with nobody. You, you gotta have it. You just gotta have it. Bro. Niggas got it. It's plenty more where this came from. Oh, yeah. I don't have the energy and I don't have the resources right now. Ghost, I thought you said you don't re um, report L.A. beef. First off, this ain't no L.A. beef. All right. T real L.A. nigga, of course, but nigga Adam from like Boston or Maine or some shit, bro. He just live in L.A. Just because you live here don't mean you from there. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, this ain't no L.A. beef. It's L.A. nigga going out of Boston, nigga. It's okay to report that. What I mean by L.A. beef, 
rappers diss songs, podcast niggas going at each other, all that type of shit. But a LA nigga against another nigga that's not from LA, that's fair game, baby. That's fair game, nigga. Now to With put my the world content. on, but this is it right now. I don't want to be, look, like I tell y'all, I don't want to contribute to no kind of downfall or nothing in LA, bro. From there, that's the crib. You know what I'm saying? No downfall. Somebody gets smoked. You better go watch another nigga channel to find out what happened. I ain't finna. I just be knowing too much. You know what I'm saying? And I can't get on the camera and try to report and go around what I already know. Shit gonna seem fake as fuck to me, even if y'all don't catch on. I don't. Yeah, I'm straight. I don't do it. Now, nigga, we gonna work for it. We gonna work. We we'll, we'll work with what we got. You feel me? And do what we gotta do. You feel me? But why niggas talking about a number? Fuck the number. Fuck the overall. Fuck all of that shit you talking about with the head of, look at this. Dude, look, I want you to go live when I'm live. Mm. With everybody. I like how this is staying with content though. You know what I'm saying? That's how they gonna fight. You go live or I go live. I like how it ain't no, hey, nigga, I got burners. I'll pull up, meet you here, meet me there. We don't need none of that shit, bro. You niggas just grown ass, man. Everybody in their late 30s that's beefing right now. You know what I'm saying? I just turned 35, nigga. I'm in my mid. That's crazy. But, yeah, niggas don't need to be doing none of that. We about to get to Adam shit, though, because uh, y'all keep on saying hit no jumper. Hey, it'd be dope if they did a uh, Zess Rail. Where is this coming from? Why do the... Bro, chat, where is that shit coming from? I'm serious, nigga. Where is that zesty shit coming from, T Real? <sighs> far as I, unless he on, what happened? Did this nigga say a story from back in the day that he did some shit? Or because we talked about it before like 10 minutes ago. Now we coming with Adam, he going to put it up in that thumbnail. That nigga's crazy. Where it come from? Watch the Young Boy Complex interview. All right, cool. Now don't put it on more. A skincare video. Didn't we see that? Oh, nigga, it's a video. I thought it was some cosmetic shit. I ain't tripping on this. I thought I thought it was something that really happened for real. That nigga probably did it. He did a video that uh that y'all said he was looking zesty in or whatever, or he probably wore something that was looking zesty. That don't count. Y'all can't call him zesty because of that. I thought he did some shit with another nigga or something. That's when you can call him. Internet, my nigga, come on, bro. Walk up in that nigga face and call him zesty. Put it like that. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know if he'll do nothing or not, but still like. How y'all gonna put that on a nigga because of a video or a commercial or an ad or some shit, bro? Y'all niggas is crazy. Speak on this. It's been months, many oh, they months. All in there. Since the fat immunity girls mentioned me, right? Oh. Fat immunity? Who fat over there? Pun? 80, 80 ain't all the way fat though. He like, 80 not fat though. He just like he just a, a chubby nigga. He got more fat niggas than them. He said the fat immunity niggas. Let me just speak on this. It's been months, many months, yes. since the fat immunity girls mentioned me. Right? Mm. Uh, if you remember, if you go back in time, you'll remember that I kind of held my tongue because a lot of information was coming to the surface about the fact that uh, little baby T-Rail is $3 million in debt. Ooh. Some stuff was coming to the surface for the first time, like the fact that, you know, his... his Hold on. This is a lot of shit I didn't know, bro. And this is what I mean about this, 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 this entertainment podcast world. 
working with niggas, being homies with niggas, and is it out that T Real got he three million dollars in debt to who? That's some shit that he probably told Adam when he was his homie. This is what people gotta understand, bro. Even in relationships, when y'all when y'all fucking, and I ain't, this ain't got nothing to do. I ain't talking about homies. But in relationships, as y'all fucking with homies, if y'all bonding, that's my boy. Y'all kick it together. Y'all work together. Whatever goes on, and y'all tell each other when y'all cool, that is some buster shit to go ahead and leak it when y'all get into it or when y'all break up or move on or not homies. No. Three million dollars, nigga? Where is he owed three mils to Tiger? Remember last King story? Jesus has tax problems. <clears throat> this nigga Adam Boy. Right now, if y'all go to the search box, it's going to say DJ, just put up featuring. That shit literally going to, it's literally going to say DJ featuring nobody. Check it out. This why, my nigga, I'm cool with. Let me do my reaction videos, my hip hop news from the house. Let me ride my vlogs, bro. I mean, ride my bikes, nigga. Let me, let me do me. And then I'm getting the fuck off of this shit. I don't want to. Travel here, build this relationship, build this relay, build. I came in this shit by myself, and I'ma leave this shit by myself. I promise y'all niggas, right hand to whoever put us here, bro. I ain't tryna. I ain't. If I didn't win, told myself back then. If I couldn't win, it's so big it wasn't it. But if I do win, then it must be it. You know what I'm saying? It was meant to be, and I guess it's meant to be. I'ma stay like this, bro. I ain't. Damn, nigga. Sheesh. It's been months, many months, since the Fat Munity girls mentioned me, right? Uh, if you remember, if you go back in time, you'll remember mm. that I kind of held my tongue because a lot of information was coming to the surface about the fact that uh, little baby t Rail is $3 million in debt. Mm. Some stuff was coming to the surface for the first time, like the fact that, you know, his his baby mother, yeah. fiance. Share this room, guys. Used to be selling her pussy, you know. That's what the fuck? Hold. Hold the fuck. That some stuff was coming to the surface for the first time, like the fact that, you know, his his baby mother, yeah. fiance. Share this room, guys. Used to be selling her pussy, you know. That's a... Uh... He said Heather was a prost... Nah, bro. Where he getting this from? And if that was the case, why are you putting this shit out there, bro? In the beginning, I said the podcast shit, like, I'm happy they keeping this shit on the internet, nigga. Let's go live. When I go live, whoop de whoop whoop. But this shit right here, fuck the internet, nigga. I'm kidding. I, I, this shit, you wouldn't even be mad if a nigga speaking up on your fiance like this, nigga, and just pull up. Like, you know what I'm saying? Oof. Adam cut deep, nigga. Adam cut deep right now, nigga. It's deep. not really up for debate. The bankruptcy, the attempted bankruptcy, he actually tried to file bankruptcy and they wouldn't let him. <laughs> uh, the, the prostitution thing, not up for debate. This is, this is real shit. But I, I held my tongue. And as a result, they held their tongues too. So I haven't heard anything from them for a few months, right? It's pretty transparent that Zestrel is feeling Zestrel. a little bit uncomfortable with the way, the direction of his channel, right? Because in the last three, four episodes, they've yet to hit 100K. Mm -hmm. Their viewers, their live viewers, dipping low. 
I remember a time period when back on Fig used to get 15K, 20K. They used to have random ass guests on, get, you know, big boost, a couple hundred or a couple thousand extra live viewers. The people aren't stupid, T Row. The people aren't stupid. They see the direction that things are going. They see the fact that the fans are losing interest. You had more of an opportunity than almost anybody in the history of media to build something and to really captivate an audience. That first, the first ever Shame on You episode on the uh, Big Muni World channel. Adam was waiting for that nigga T Rail. Adam been holding this shit in for a minute, bro. For a minute. He was waiting for that nigga to say something. This nigga's cutting deep and they, this 28 minutes, bro. 28 minutes, nigga. Everybody looking at the screen. I want to know if they going to show us what they looking at because all three of these niggas is like this. Like, what the fuck are y'all watching? <laughs> this nigga cut deep right now, bro. And to keep it real, when it come to Adam, When you beat, I don't personally know, know neither one of these niggas. T. Real know Adam better than than I know uh, Adam, and Adam know T. Real better than I know T. Real. This personal shit, I can't really tell Adam how to react. I'm telling y'all how I react. I'm telling y'all I wouldn't put this type of shit out there. But at the same time, though, this nigga cutting deep, bro. T real, I ain't hear no personal shit come from this nigga. In a minute and fifty seconds, T real three million dollars in debt. I know that now. I know that nigga got denied for bankruptcy. I know his girl used to be a prostitute. I know. this nigga's not playing. He he was holding this shit in, bro. 550K, 600K, something like that. Now you guys can't even hit 80K. Josh, let's, let's roll the tape. Pull up uh, the Fig Community World uh, YouTube channel right here. We have the Social oh, Blade. Receipts? Social Blade never lies. Let's scroll down. Mm. What a, mm -hmm. So this is just... This nigga. All right, so keep in Not mind Cat that Go Fig, though, right? Community and, back, and uh, uh, back on Fig already were doing their thing before they left No Jumper. So let's yeah. take a look at the massive success that the Fig Community World channel. Scroll down more. Oh, wow. So right now we have the uh, the video views. Scroll down like one more blip. Got data. Hold on. Scroll back up to keep it real. It look like they doing better because you got 45K November 8th, 40, what, 56K November 9th. Watch when he scroll. So right now, now 100,000, 74, 77, 83, 107, 300. It looked like they doing better instead of worse, or am I tripping? We have the uh, the video views. Scroll down like one more blip. I got data. Okay, last 30 days, 2.2 million views on the whole channel. Last 30 days, no Jumper channel, like we're kind of at a low spot right now, like 30 million views. So we're about 15 times what you got going on here. In fact, our, our Clips channel alone has four or five times as many views as you guys are getting on this weak ass channel. But if we scroll, scroll down a little bit here, we mm. can see the high point back in July, June, when they were actually kind of doing some numbers, but shit has subsided. And when you look at the monthly gain subscribers, it paints an Whoa. even more depressing picture. Uh, hover over that last red dot there. 2,000 subscribers added in the month Sorry, of October. Sorry, got the fuck up out of here. So when they tell Me you- too that this is a growing business, that this is a growing platform. It's not, it's a shrinking platform. You guys very may well have a month in the near future where you don't gain any subscribers because it would appear that a lot of people are unsub- Adam doing to them what happened to him when they first left. When, they, when motherfuckers stopped watching No Jumper and all that type of shit, Adam was ready for this. I keep telling y'all this nigga was ready, bro. 
he was fucking ready for this. He had it all bottled in. He ain't got a hand. Look, it's not in his notes. He got it verbatim in his head what he wanted to say. He been having this speech. This like a graduation speech. He been waiting to say this shit. You know what I'm saying? This like, this that one, bro. This that one. That nigga had the receipts ready. He been knowing what the number. He did not today just see them numbers. He been seeing them fucking numbers. That's why he bought it up. Adam was ready. That nigga was ready, bro. Subscribing as well. Presumably you're gaining some and then just losing some as well. Things are not going well. And keep in mind, you guys all left good paying full-time gigs at No Jumper to start this channel that is already in shambles. You have no vision. You have no ideas. Mm. You have nothing besides copying No Jumper. And yesterday, let me just roll the audio of this Can fucking they come back special needs student speaking on my channel. Listen, Can listen to this fucking handicapped, crippled motherfucker. <laughs> you niggas influential to me. Okay? <laughs> no form of fashion are you niggas influential to me. Nah. No form of fashion am I looking to you for anything. You know what I mean? I'm talking about no content. I'm not looking for no ideas. You niggas are not influencers to me. You niggas are not role models to me. You niggas are not nothing to me. Why's he out of breath? I don't look at nobody for nothing. <laughs> I need everybody, especially you, to get off my dick. Copy my whole flow. Sorry, those uh, sound effects were added in by somebody from the Reddit. Now, oh. of course. I, I was busy all day yesterday. I didn't Can even they get... come back for their job? Uh, no. The, the, the <laughs> door is closed. Okay, but, go ahead. And, and closed. My, my wrath for AD has subsided in many ways because, you know, I figured that if he had some real venom to get off his chest, he probably would have done so yesterday, and I didn't feel like he's really got that energy for the 22 string anymore. So I'm going to let the AD thing go. It feels like even when Pun and T-Roll are turning up right by his side that he's not really going for it. And to be honest with I you... Agree. Me and AD kind of have like the realest friendship out of anyone in this whole thing. Mm -hmm. That was big, Adam. And That's I feel big. like AD has kind of been humbled by this whole experience more than anything else. Because the truth is, is that as long as AD lives, he's always going to be reminded of the fact that he left No Jumper and doesn't really have much to show for it. You know? What the so, fuck? AD Why you going to give a nigga a compliment? Was he just giving this nigga a compliment the whole time? And then fact that he left no jumper and doesn't really have much to show for it you know and so ad will be spared from my wrath today damn but when it I'm comes to spare you from my wrath when, today wait, wait he just said in that clip i mean there has been times where i maybe lost a little bit of faith in our audience when i felt like they were siding with the ops and it kind of upset me and made me realize that maybe i had cultivated a fan base that wasn't necessarily as perceptive as I would have liked for them to be. But I cannot imagine that there's any significant percentage of the fans who are watching right now or who will observe this rant on YouTube who in any way are fallen for what Broke Rell said in that clip. Because <laughs> the idea that he hasn't been influenced by me and No Jumper, my friend, you do not do anything outside of the realm of what you learned at No Jumper. You have no ideas. You are not a businessman. You do not bring anything in. new to the table besides copying what No Jumper does. You started doing the news. This the news was doing pretty good at first. I think they were hitting 100K on the news. Now they're bringing out their A-listers. They were trying to trot out randoms on the news for a while. Now they're bringing out the A-listers. Adam, idea of success was 100K. T-Rail and what's his fucking name? Uh, my 600-pound life, the, the, the potato head guy. Uh, <laughs> even when they got my 600-pound life and broke rail hosting the news, they, <laughs> shit, they went the 30K. Fuck. You don't think that they see that? You don't think that they realize where this trend is going? Because this trend is going down. You guys are not moving all of y'all together cannot compete with my motherfucking clips channel. And when we, they, they talk about having original <laughs> ideas, how we're not influential to them. You know what I saw a clip of yesterday? I saw a clip, a, a clip of this 
dusty ass disgruntled larping as a rich motherfucker but he's really a broke bitch living off his girl oh, i shit. seen his ass oh fuck this nigga is on t real neck bro t real he is on this nigga's neck how did this reignite though Bro talking like he want to fade. I'm not lying. That nigga talking like he want us. Look at this shit. Yesterday, I saw a clip, a, a clip of this dusty ass, disgruntled, larping as a rich motherfucker, but he's really a broke bitch living off his girl. Oh, I shit. seen his ass saying that he was going to copy Dejon Paul's report card. Oh, you're not yes. taking Dejon Paul's report card. Oh, that's what he's talking about. I thought he was talking about Flacco. I thought S Mac was talking about Flacco when he said report card, but S Mac was talking about him. The Dejon nigga. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna offer. You got no musical taste. You got no knowledge about what's going on in the musical world. My man brought something new to the table. You're calling him an employee. I look at him as a smart young entrepreneur who's taking his business to a different level and being able to shine a different level of light. Thank you, Adam. On his report card, on Thank his you, podcast, Adam. on his magazine, A Day in L.A. I look at, at Dejan as somebody who's smart and taking advantage of an opportunity that he had while also building his own platform on the side. Exactly. Now you're saying That's that you're just going to copy him. Further cementing the fact yeah. that you do not have... Look at this nigga face. Look at the passion in this rant that he having, bro. I wanna I I can't I can't really say. Look, this one thing I can say, all right. They had a re relationship, which is a friendship, and they was co-workers. One thing I can't really say though, bro. One thing, hold on. One thing, another thing that I can say. Is that nigga is going at them niggas so foul and out of pocket. T-Rail was too with the suck my dick comments or whatever the case. But one thing I can't say is you cannot tell a nigga how to respond to beef. If Adam wanted to leave it alone, it's that. If Adam wanted to cry himself to sleep, it's that. That nigga wanted to pick up a gun, it's that. If he wanted to go on this podcast rant right here, it's just that, bro. I can't. I wish a nigga would tell me how to react if another nigga told me to suck my dick. You know what I'm saying? I, but damn, he, he, he. The personal shit, though, is the part that I'm just like, you foul for putting that, like, the the the, the prostitution and the three million. And, you know what I'm saying? That boy going in. An original idea in your entire half paralyzed body broke rail. And keep in mind, like they had, they had what, like three, four months. I was actually, I wouldn't say I was nervous, but I was at least a little excited yesterday. You know, I'm shooting porn. I'm, I'm, I'm really like getting my bread. I'm doing interviews yesterday. All day I'm in here. I'm in here eight hours yesterday. Mm. And it slowly becomes apparent, like, oh, they're gonna talk about me on their fucking podcast today. Now I didn't see it because I'm not gonna watch a fucking four hour back on fig in a three hour community. I'm sorry, I just don't really have the time to do this sort of thing. But I'm assuming that anything good, anything that's worth rising to the surface is gonna get posted in the No Jumper Reddit. Now, it is possible that the No Jumper Reddit has just completely let me down and that they had some bombshells that never got posted. But from my perspective, you just had three or four months to think of something good to say about me and the only thing that you can think of is to take this completely arbitrary metric of live viewers which by the way hold is on, one of the easy hold on hold on this thing is metrics to fake 
Right. On the internet, everybody knows live viewers, easy to fake. <laughs> Buying views and shit, a little bit more tricky. How? I've seen it before. I've had conversations with Destiny where he told me about the percentage of people. Damn, niggas didn't want the clout that bad. They buying fake views. Who be doing that shit, bro? I didn't think it was that serious. Nigga buying fake views is a sign of low self-esteem. You know what I'm saying? Ghost, you mean tell me you wouldn't? Nah, I wouldn't do it, bro. Wouldn't air out your enemy. Bro, if my enemy was my homie first, mm -mm, I couldn't do it. Can't no nigga make me kill my morals, bro. Can't no nigga make me kill my morals. If a nigga told me his dad raped him, two years later we beefing. Man, that nigga ghost never paid me. Yaddy, 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 wooty, woo, woo. I go to that nigga house here, whatever the case, bro. I'm not finna get on the internet and respond like, Bitch ass nigga, that's why your daddy raped you. Like, I can't, a nigga can't make me kill my morals. Nobody in this world can, bro. I swear to God they can't. That's why this shit is just so surprising on seeing a nigga do some shit that I don't stand on, that I wouldn't stand for. I think I'm just different, bro. I, I just, I guess he hold friendships like a friendship. It's like, a friendship is a relationship. The same thing you have with your girlfriend, relationship. What you have with your neighbor, that's a relationship. What you have with your cousins, that's a relationship. A relationship, bro. Y'all was cool at one point. I just can't do it, man. I just can't. I just can't. Other niggas is different, obviously. You know what I'm saying? But if we homies... Just like I said, if you was my cousin, we get into some shit on the back end. Even though we beefing on the back end, I still love you. I still got love for you. You know what I'm saying? I can't. That's why you got to watch who you call your friends. You got to watch who you really fuck with. If I call you my friend, my brother, my homie, it's that for life. Even if we stop talking, even if we beefing, can't no nigga be like, Oh yeah, you know, whoop de whoop, I'm finna smoke that nigga. You finna what, nigga? You got me fucked up. Oh yeah, that nigga's a bitch. Don't talk about the homie ever. It's not like that. Me and that nigga fell out. It is what it is. It is what it is, bro. But I just, I, I ain't. That shit right there, bro. That shit crazy. Well, man. in his world, who are buying fake live viewers and shit, it's actually astonishing. On, on IG too. And I'm and I'm not even going with that right now because I'm not gonna even try to focus not, on something I can't prove. Yeah. Because yeah, I can't yeah, prove yeah. that they're faking Same live viewers, even though it right. would appear to me when I observe what's going on, when I look at the number of live viewers on their content and then the number of live viewers on our premieres, and I see the fact that within 24 hours it's super, super obvious and apparent that our shit is performing much, much better. Okay, you have a little bit better of a live audience. You're really comparing apples to oranges. Because like yesterday, just for example, we were premiering a Crip Mac episode at the same exact time the Bagum Fig went live, right? When I looked, I saw 4,500 live viewers of a premiere of a yeah, Crip Mac. This shit just gonna be about now, views on time. We've had Crip Mac on the show, I don't know, maybe like 20 times. It's like, it's not anything new to people on our channel. Obviously, we, we, we always enjoy having them on. Great content every time. He's always funny. Um, but it was a premiere. And the clips of the premiere, every single second of that interview had already been released on YouTube and done whatever, maybe 100,000, 150,000 average on those clips. They're comparing the views on the premiere, the viewers on the premiere, which we had maybe 4,500 watching Crip Mac. And then on their stream, they had 6,500. Motherfucker, who cares? Already the Crip Mac interview has more views than your stream from last night and again each clip that right there don't count that right there don't count the other day when we was on here and we was talking about podcasting and all that type of shit right and then we was talking about like how many of these niggas can hold it down by themselves with no co-host with no guest or none of that shit right and the reason I say that because my nigga when you interview somebody as a podcaster, a lot of them niggas can be there for the motherfucker you interviewing and not you. 
your platform can be popping because you get these dope ass interviews, but niggas don't like you. I ain't saying that's the case with Adam. I'm just saying how he put it. Well, Crip Mac interview got whoop de whoop whoop. Everybody know Crip Mac gonna say some wild shit. Niggas click on that video. Put it like this. Let me give y'all a better example. You get a YouTuber right now. He started his channel yesterday, right? I'm about to give y'all a known fucking fact. A YouTuber, example. Say he started his channel yesterday. And today, this motherfucker literally, the only nigga in the world, literally, get the first and only interview with Jesus. He gonna have more views than anybody that ever uploaded a video on YouTube. Do that mean he popping more than everybody else? No, we there for Jesus. To finally see what this nigga look like, to see what he gotta say, what Jesus gotta, why he picked this nigga to go live with. Like, you get what I'm saying? We there for that nigga. Is the the line just kind of blurred, bro? The line just kind of blurred on what they beefing on, with, like to me, beefing over views and YouTube and all that type of shit, man. And that shit, I ain't talking. Clip had already been premiered on the channel. <clears throat> So when you're trying to claim a W by saying, oh, there was more people watching the live stream than there was for our premiere of a piece of content that wasn't even live. I mean, I feel like you're really not doing an efficient job of making the point that you think that you're making. Because when, if you want to go dollar for dollar, don't do that. T-Rail, you don't want dollars and dollars. <laughs> don't do that. Because Let's you in that. the red, my Adam, boy. Adam, we know you caked you up, nigga. Bitch, my boy. You ain't got a nickel to say, don't do name, that. my boy. We just ran your ass off the block. R.I.P. Sorella, that shit gone. No more tube tops are getting sold on the block. So the 20 toaster wants in. If, you, if a tube top gets sold on the block, I want my fucking cut. <laughs> if a back on fig t-shirt gets sold on Melrose, the 22 ster is here with Desto Dub by my side and Brick Baby right there with the Smith & Wesson and we want our fucking cut. We ran your ass off the block. You got nothing to offer. So you saying you back on Melrose. We back on Melrose and we ran your scary ass off the block. Oh! Let me tell you something. Let me yeah, take my motherfucking shit. hoodie off because this shit, I'm getting yeah, a little out of shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just... You know, yeah, 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 you people. full of shit, bro. I got to do this for the people. <laughs> Real. Let me tell you what it is. Let me tell you what it Real, is. Well, this is funny. I'm not I'm not agreeing, but he's funny. Let me yeah, tell you what it is. Hey, t Real, this shit just funny. He not agreeing. This shit just funny. <laughs> hold on. Well, you, you got to hold on. Hey. They need to make a channel called Back on No Jumper. That shit will go crazy. With all these niggas, though. They squad, this squad, do it once a week. You talking about money, nigga? Since y'all want to talk about numbers and views, nigga? Take my advice on it. Yeah. I don't really think it's just... It's beef, but not beef. It's like... Feed, backwards. F-E-E-B. <laughs> It's not for real all the way, you know what I'm saying? Like I, it, I don't think it ain't like that. But Adam did hit some shit to where a nigga would not fuck with you for life no more because of what you said. You know what I'm saying? That nigga going in. You want to compare live viewers? Let me give you some other metrics that we can compare. It's How about this? How about this? How about we go bad. bank account for bank account? Big bank take little bank. Ooh. Big bank take little bank. If I, I, I guarantee you, if I look at T Rail's bank account, it's gonna be. Damn, diamond for real. We got four. We got fourteen hundred views in here. I should have been in it this shit. <laughs> but damn, I ain't know it was like that. Listen to what she said about that. That that that. Bro. Comedy Central, bro, because. That shit vomity, blood. This motherfucker <laughs> is down bad. He's down bad. The money that he's making from YouTube each month is barely covering the interest on the amount of debt that he's carrying around. When I watch him on Back of Fig, when I was watching these clips, all I could see 
was the three million dollars in debt resting on his shoulders, dragging Damn, him down. You stupid. only got one arm. You don't got the strength to carry that kind of load, my friend. <laughs> uh, we're doing numbers that you couldn't fucking <laughs> imagine <laughs> in <laughs> every. Hey, world. why? Why we, did these odd niggas try not to laugh, bro? Why you cover your mouth like that, bro? You had to laugh, laugh. You only got one arm. You don't got the strength to carry that kind of load, my friend. Pause. We're doing numbers that you couldn't fucking imagine <laughs> in every <laughs> regard, in every realm. You do not want to compete against us. And the truth is, let me tell you, this is how we do it. <laughs> if I wanted to make sure we got the most viewers possible, here's what I do. Because you said my guys versus your guys. You put your guys on camera, I put my guys on camera. If I sit down and I do a live episode with Sharp and Wag 100, we're doing over 10,000 live viewers. If I sit down with, I don't know, Crit Mac and Wag 100, we're doing over 10,000 live viewers. Easy. If I sit down with Brick and Wack, over 10,000. Easy. Easy. Who doing the most views if T Real do one by itself and Adam do one by itself? No bias shit, chat. Let me know. Who doing the most views? Fuck the team. Like, y'all put them, y'all put them, these two niggas. T Real go live by itself. Adam go live by itself. We're getting the most views. The reason why we don't do our content live is because we're about our bread, which might be foreign to you because you're all ego. You're not a businessman. You love the ego of having a bunch of live viewers, but the truth is, is that y'all don't make any money off the live viewers. And I know this for a fact. I know that your YouTube works the same as my YouTube because I remember when AD, who I already said I wasn't gonna diss, but this is just a fun fact. I remember when he kicked the two cuz off his channel, part of the reason why was because they wanted money. They wanted to get paid. I remember AD telling me he was making $500 a live stream. What the f Fuck, he putting this nigga money out here. He's saying, bro, the other two niggas, what'd he say? They quit or he fired them because they wanted money. So basically saying he's basically he's saying A D wanted niggas to work for free for him, bro. Or did I miss something? This for a fact. I know that your YouTube works the same because live is cause we're about our bread. Which might be foreign to you because you're all ego. You're not a businessman. You love the ego of having a bunch of live viewers, but the truth is, is that y'all don't make any money off the live viewers. And I know this for a fact. I know that your YouTube works the same as my YouTube because I remember when AD, who I already said I wasn't gonna diss, but this is just a fun fact. So I remember when he kicked the two cuz off his channel, part of the reason why was because they wanted money. Mm. They wanted to get paid. I remember AD telling me he was making $500 a live stream. Live viewers on YouTube don't pay you very well. So y'all can do the That's math fact. of how much these guys are really bringing in. It's not a whole lot. They don't have enough money to pay additional people. I got like 20 or 30 fucking employees who are getting full-time salaries from me. Mm -hmm. Wanna know why? Cause I'm a man. Mm -mm. You're a little boy. <laughs> you ain't on my level. This nigga is because a man can take care of his family. Oh, a man, come on, man, doesn't have to run to Colonel Sanders, aka Leather, Oof. to take care of the bills. A man, what did his baby mama do now? Like this nigga coming at Heather, like she, she's just a regular bitch on the street. Like this, this nigga, this your boy, well, your ex boy, girl, like. Colonel Sanders calling her I ain't, I guess. Unless this nigga Adam feel like, nigga, we never was homies. Fuck this nigga. That's why I'm going this hard. Then, I'll shut the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, I think that's what it is. They never was homies. They just worked together. Because there's no fucking way in hell this your homie coming at him. Not like this. Not an ex-homie, nigga. A few niggas I fell out with, and I can't even imagine, bro. I still check on them niggas through they sisters and they they homies and they cousins. Like I ain't no coming back from this shit, bro. No coming back from this shit. Doesn't have to ask his girl 
if he can borrow the credit card so that he can go hit up gallery department and buy some pants with the tag on the bottom with the Levi's and all that. <laughs> Hero, you are a broke dude LARPing as a millionaire. Damn. You didn't even own that house. This is, I, I, you didn't even own that house until like a year and a half ago, right? You were coming on the podcast making everybody believe that you actually had an elevator in your career when you were renting it. Mm. And then you finally managed to figure out something where you got, you know, four and a half mortgages at the same time so that you could buy it. And now you're stuck paying this insane mortgage with a ridiculous interest rate. And on top of that, you remember when your store flooded? You remember this nigga telling all his fucking business, bro. No, no lie on my life, nigga. All his personal business, and it's no disrespect to Adam. I only seen a female do this shit. This nigga is coming. This nigga is coming every from this nigga going from the mortgage to the kids to your girl to your debt, nigga to the prostitution to my nigga. You ask your girl to go shopping like this nigga telling everything that damn. That nigga putting his business out there. Fuck. I ain't, I, I ain't seen a nigga do this before. That's the good thing about the internet because now I seen a nigga do this before. You know what I'm saying? That shit crazy, bro. Remember how you never reopened? Even though Tiger gave you 10 grand. Damn. Me and Lena each gave you a grand. You know what happens if my store Tiger flooded? You remember how you never reopened? Even though Tiger gave you 10 grand, me and Lena each gave you a grand. You know what happens if my store floods? You know what happens if I have to pay, you know, 20, 30, $40,000 worth of repairs? I do it the next day. Mm. The next day I cut the check, we get the shit fixed. You left your store closed for a year and a half. That's your legacy on Melrose. <sighs> and honestly, that's sad. It's like sad that you're at this point in your life, you're 40, and you couldn't get the fucking me. water damage fixed in your spot because you had the wrong insurance. Because you're not smart enough. You're not a businessman to actually stay on top of the shit that you're building. So I say all that to say that I didn't hear almost anything of note last night on the stream. I didn't hear anything that actually seemed worth responding to. So I'm going to keep all the shit that I have in the tuck in terms of just like additional firepower in terms of additional shit that I could say that would make you look like a fucking idiot. I'm going to keep that in the tuck. Mm. Because the what? truth is is that you got... My nigga, you said everything. Am I true? What did you just say? So I'm going to keep all the shit that I have in the tuck in terms of just like additional firepower, in terms of additional shit that I could say that would make you look like a fucking idiot. I'm going to keep that in the tuck. You already because said the it. the truth is, is that you guys got snakes in your circle, and I got people who have given me receipts about how you guys actually feel about your business and how disappointed you are and how well it's doing and how you know that No Jumper's killing it. I got the receipts. I got screenshots of conversations of your dumb asses revealing this Damn. to people who then sent me the fucking screenshots without me even having to ask for it. So it's scandalous homies in between. So I don't know if there's really a lot more to say because, to be honest, at this point, me talking about them benefits them way more than it benefits me. And the truth is, is that, you know, we just have a lot of good stuff going on. And I don't think they could say the same. So that's why they're getting out their pocket and, uh, you know, trying to talk about No Jumper so they can finally get some fucking views. But I'm going to turn this uh, spigot of cloud off and you guys are going to have to figure it out on your own because I'm just not, I'm not impressed. You didn't bring one good argument to the table. You didn't make any points. And um, I, I don't know. Yeah, let me get a part, man. I don't know if I got anything else to say. That nigga went in, bro. There's times like this, bro. Sure. I don't want to miss out on any blessings of mine focusing on no haters or no negative shit. That's how I'm feeling this holiday season. Mm. It's the holiday season. It's I don't the holiday miss out on, season. Right. I'm, I'm not missing out on none of my blessings because great things have been happening for me, for the people around me. 
That's what I'm focused on. You, you know what I'm saying? I don't All you got to do is wake up and yeah, say thank this shit you, is, man. You hear what I'm saying? I've got to be grateful. The gratitude you talked about earlier. earlier. But I'm glad you got that off your chest, Adam. And you had That's the first word Sharp said in 20 minutes. I can't wait to Everything's a blessing. the Reddit app on my phone again and sign Everybody was all ears. And see what's going on. a full breakdown of this. Oh, yeah. You got to find Of course you I don't mind that. But listen, this is the only, like, Probably the final thing that I'll say is, um, fuck, I already lost it. Where was it? I had it, uh, I had it loaded up right in front of my brain. Never mind. But uh, you said this is your last time talking about this. I mean, I'm not saying this is my last time talking about it, but I'm not gonna like if they went on the same rant that they went on last yeah. night. I'm not responding again because what the fuck am I gonna say? It's just boring. It's like they picked this one random metric of the live viewers. We don't even go live. The news is the only thing that we do live. It's not like what I'm competing on. You know, these guys are all ego. No business sense. And, you know, from my perspective, it's just like, bro, your shit is shrinking and you're not going to bring it back to its former prosperity I by saying boring said, ass takes about us. I think they said Sabatsa to the chat. What you mean? Yeah, that's all right. So, with the L's. Nah, that was nah, a viral just, moment. This is a Yeah, true. everybody knows yeah, it's true, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, all right, you want to know something depressing? Is last night, I'm like, oh, you know what? I'm going to hit up the back on Fig Reddit. I'm going to see what they think of this. Hmm. Crickets. Crickets. Shit. This is what you thought that these dudes were waiting for all these fucking months. <laughs> and then you finally do it. You finally unload on me. <laughs> and nobody fuck? had anything to say. Nobody fucking cares because it's, it was so weak. I'm about to start doing battles on Bigo. Oh, on Bigo. That should battle somebody from. What's over Bigo? There. That's the shit where all the shit pop up on the screen. You can yeah. do all. Chat, about to get out of here. I'm about to go pick my auntie up from the airport. We'll see y'all next time. Promise y'all I will go live tomorrow and went live in like four days. Whatever the case. But uh, be cool to my moderators. Love y'all to everybody else. I said to my moderators. Well, yeah, I do. Everybody else. Love y'all too, man.